Hey guys, it's Elle from Altruistic Channel, and I am actually coming to you today with something that I thought was kind of um, incredible that happens to, I guess, everyday people <laughs> on a regular basis. Um, but it's kind of a moment of, uh, of I guess, redemption and self, self-redemption uh, in a way that's kind of uh, amazing. So one of the things that happens when you find your spiritual calling or your um, quest in life is that you start to be bombarded with like energy or negativity or a disregard and it's fed to you to play on insecurities that uh, your leadership is somehow not at par where, where it needs to be for what you envision and um when you lead without spirituality, let's say, you can get lost in that insecurity and in believing that there is no way around it, that there are limitations to what you can accomplish and what it is that you can manifest for yourself. You are stuck in a state of physical dimensions in the third dimension, if you will, and you are limited in this belief system that 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 there's just something impossible. This is why I am such a um, believer in motivating people and leaders from around the world to incorporate spirituality in their daily practice of life. Because the truth is that there are absolutely no fucking limits to anything. You are capable of reaching everything that you've ever dreamt for yourself quickly and efficiently and succinctly and actually a lot of times from within with tools that you all have always had or have acclimated to uh, use or to know how to use because of life experience that the divine or God or whatever you believe uh, the higher being to be has gifted you with. And so there might come a point where you reach the glass ceiling and you Pop your head up, kind of like this, and you're just like, hey. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. So I, I, I really don't. I don't believe in what you believe in at all. Sorry. No power here. And the moment that you've accomplished that, you have literally just invested in your own destiny. And I cannot, ex I cannot share with you the feeling that I guarantee you will have if you are able to overcome yourself, your doubts, other people's negativity, their jealousy, and their pure hatred for you when you align your reality with your spirituality. It is a path that is so worth it that it overshadows any negativity coming at you and it removes doubt in a way that I'm not sure I could ever express even though as a writer or as an actor I'm sure I could um, I could try but I just don't think it comes across the way that it should um, because it's not ego based it's just clarity and it's something that's just so like it tickles me it tickled me is more truth in, 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 in the realization. You see, the path that I was trying to go on was to just motivate people. And there was still in that motivating people a sense of doubt in my ability to actually do what I'm supposed to do, which is to teach. At some point in my journey, I lost track of the fact that I've been burdened with some of the worst parts of life because the blessings that were waiting for me were of my own making. It was the alchemization of converting lessons in the physical world into ethereal alchemy and creating a world that can believe in hope again and creating a sense of understanding, of thorough clarity that it is the simplest of acts of spirituality um, alignment with your regular day-to-day -day that will ultimately lead you 
to the best successes you can imagine because it's limitless. I am no longer lost in the idea of trying to win someone over. That's gone. There is no sense of me trying to prove myself for anybody else. That has been burned away. There is no sense of trying to be successful in terms of monetary gains alone. It's not needed. You know, at the end of the day, everything that I have encountered and everything that I will still go through has led me to a place of teaching spirituality and ownership of how to manifest a reality that is worthy of what you have been through. And that stepping through that glass, through that mirror, is so eye-opening that I, I, I'm posting this just to get that across. If you have lost hope in yourself or in humanity and this inability to um, come to terms with what's really going on and for atonement for what we've created, I mean, we are basically killing the planet and we are justifying the process of doing so in a way that makes us victimized um, when in truth we have absolute power to change it immediately. You can't get there if you can't see what's at play uh, against you or that's working within yourself to stop yourself. You, you can't get there, I hate to say, without spirituality. You cannot, atone, you cannot atone to the cosmic powers that be if you don't believe that they're there. If you believe there's no hope, then you are lost and you cannot find happiness ever because you don't leave room for growth. You are limited in a box to believe that this is just the way it's going to be. It's absolutely not going to be that way. And uh, I welcome you to understand that I am the living embodiment of that, but it took every possible pressure to oppose it and every form of hatred that has come at me to empower me to kind of just go, oh, I give up, fuck it. And in that moment, the reality of everything that I'm encountering, everything, okay, so I could be homeless tomorrow and uh, everybody could hate you, too late. Uh, they might think you're crazy. Okay, everybody that's worthy of any type of title is crazy. Uh, you should be limited. Why aren't you limited? Because my logic says that that doesn't stand the test of time. Um, and time is just an illusion. So what? It led me to this path where I'm just like, um, yeah, while everybody else is over there, I'm going to be over here. Totally okay with that. And you don't have to come with me. I just hope that somebody at some point realizes that there's other options on that side that they may want to engage. But it starts with just looking at the truth of things. There are no limits. There is nothing that's impossible on this planet to do, to accomplish, to be. And I am apparently am going to play a major part in teaching these lessons and not out of an ego, <laughs> but out of just knowing what I'm talking about. Um, if you would like to know more about how I can come and speak to you or your crew or your clients, let me know. The email uh, me through the YouTube channel. Um, this path that I'm on is the fool's journey, I call it. And it involves even being on film and documenting the redemption quality to this and interactions with other people as I go throughout the country. I'm looking for investors right now just to get that uh, more solidified. But I'm on my path and there's nothing stopping me. And I think it's going to be worthwhile for everyone to come along with it. So I'm looking for that opportunity. But I just wanted you all to know that at the, it, when it's all said and done, it's, it's beyond happiness. It's contentment uh, to the and um, team's degree. It's just almost a, it's almost a quality of your soul kind of being like, you were saying? It's worthy of, of trying to get. So if you 
come across this in some way page, uh, or form, you were meant to. And if you're someone who I'm inclined to believe that I am connected to for some reason uh, spiritually, um, I need you to understand this message directly. I broke through it because of our connection. I broke through this belief system that there were limits or impossibilities or that this could not work. And I let people around me who say they loved me and cared about me tell me that, I, it, that it was too risky or that it wasn't worthy. And I'm here to tell you that is a bold-faced lie built in hatred. And I don't use the word hatred nicely. I don't use it at all. But they core belief hate you. And the fact that you have uncovered whatever it is that is going to bring you ultimate happiness. And at the end of the day, you, by choosing to go against yourself and what you know to be true, will be ultimately why you cannot be happy. And I mean forever. Because it is an act of treason to yourself. I don't know who specifically that is for. It's just somebody that I'm spiritually connected to. And I have a feeling that you're on my journey with me somehow. But you need to know that whatever it is that's too risky is absolutely the answer for you. And that's all I wanted to say for Alan Altruistic Channel. I hope this enlightens you and I look forward to working with you and getting you to this level. It is worth the price of admission that I had to pay. And if you've read about my life, it was a hefty price. But I learned something. Sometimes the penalties and the sacrifice is worth it. Want to know more? Find out. Uh, that's it for our altruistic channel. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. And uh, to all the negative people out there, you can stop now. You have no power here. Just FYI. You've lost that. Thanks. Bye.